Hey, welcome back everybody to my Good Arthur series. And we are picking up another episode. It's gonna get pretty dicey in this one, but uh, looking forward to uh, the ending. But let's get started. What the devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of the Hindu heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores of the Limpopo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganiki. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Sod, distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right, madam. It's bloody Margaret, not madam. Margaret, mistress of fucking danger. Yep. Whoa, easy.
Easy now. Look here. What they done to you? You can call him that. Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience? Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage. Dreams and reality. Ah. What is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast on the plains of Mumbo Jumbo Land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka? Or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps, something mundane into something extraordinary? It's the difference between prose and poetry, it's alchemy. We're selling dreams, dear boy. Well, as long as... As long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show. Ah, uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. But, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the tiger. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caligar Way. Please... I hate to ask. All right, I'll see what I can do.
Come on, pal. Yep. Easy, easy. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from, uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way to go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. We got the trail. These all friends. Looks like black blood to me. Shit. What's this? Ah, oh, darn. I found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. But your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log. <clears throat> okay. Grubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. Where was I now? Oh, that's it. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in.
We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought. Since they was close and all. Well, uh, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, pinner the next. This is this comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. Well, I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful or you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out? Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. You was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go, the whole caravan toppled. Found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. And now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Margaret! Mr. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin.
it all yours. Get back. We got a cursed creature in here. Oh, yeah? It's as big as a mule and as mean as a hellcat. <laughs> it looks like a lion to me. That's a dog in there. A dog? Now, if you'll excuse me. Step aside. What? I said step aside. Go Look what you've done! Look what you've done! Son of a bitch. Uh, I'll take care of this. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. I never seen one of those before, and I hope I don't again. Amen to that. Sally, get the cages ready. Yes, sir, Mr. Market, right away. 
A man-eating lion. You didn't think that it might be useful for me to know that this time the animal was actually real, you moron? Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for... You haven't clearly stated anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose? We'll hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell! This is Ramo, oh boy. Well, it was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is! You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes. One man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the lion? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. Yeah. So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Or at least I'll be on the bill. been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dodge said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so. Yeah. 
they think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you... <laughs> This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You go! 
Solish getting the job done. Is he found anywhere? Ah, uh, no. Shit. You don't know. What I'll kill you. Why? This is some damn posse that Grace rounded up. We'd have had to deal with these sons of bitches sooner or later. Just turned out to be sooner. I'll kill this whole town if I have to. We play you boys like a fiddle. You praise must be the god of the fuck. Is this the best you fools got? See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two-bit thugs from God knows where? You're so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you, a hundred times over. This is the Grays town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grays I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Shit. Oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef! I'll blow his brains out! You wanna join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? How the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Micah? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Got guts, Morgan's deal. Careful, Clive, that's our profits now. Have you seen that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? 
Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. But Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite, boys. Where's my son? If anything, I... Where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail, you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God, right now. Dutch, we just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you. Let's ride! Okay, let's go get that boy back! They must have figured out what we was up to, Duck. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the gr- in town. I know. I heard about Sean, too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know. But we are getting him back, and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn? What about the gold? I got Jack! I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on! Sean, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. Bit late for that, ain't it? Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! 
John, I need you to stay calm. Get down here now, you inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. He must have known we would. Shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this...
on, this must be it! I can't see a goddamn thing! One, two, three! Where's the boy? Well, I, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about down? <laughs> now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dump to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. You got that word? I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> Liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are liquor. off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. We're on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine. But, well, of course Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. <laughs> for nothing. No. No. Not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch! We got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. 
We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, you go follow those fools out of here, make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get gone. Rest of you get packing! Come on, John. This is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot, Arthur. Boy. Follow me. I know the way. It's gonna be all right, John. We should be going for Jack. We will. But we have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew them right to us. I mean, how many people we killed in the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. Master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there always? Look, Marston, I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. Jack's gone. We lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny. And for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through it. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up, and rightly so. Just don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. It's a goddamn mess. That poor kid. 
We chose this life. He didn't. I don't know. I think this life chose us. You, me, Dutch, Hosea. It's been a long time now. Sure has. Lots changed. I sometimes wonder if things was ever the way we remembered them. If we were ever who we thought we was. Like I told you, don't go down a rabbit hole with this, Marston. That won't help nothing. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. So back to what you were saying. I treated Jack bad. Abigail, too. I didn't want to believe he was mine. You know, when I was lost on that mountain after Blackwater, part of me thought, I could just leave again and no one would ever know. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. All right. Let's leave the horses here and take a look. Get back here, Morgan! Some of the coward, like you. The bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Jesus. Come to an end! You think you're tough, Yankee? Come in here and fight me like a man! How's it looking up there? I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? Here. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. Okay, I can deal with the rest of the bodies. You go meet up with the caravan, guiding them in.
of my humble abode. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. Dodge? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two i've got far more important things to worry about right now than molly o'shea so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world sand denis i keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right i guess this day ain't over yet not quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? Few loose ends. Nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We are going to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. Big cities, they're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. You have a problem? Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. And from what I've heard, 
This establishment is our best lead, but I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. Funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it Over is. Over here. I told him. I say, that's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> and that's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, Hello? I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. I'm sorry. Please excuse me. I, I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I now, how can I help? I you look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scotland. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. So, mister, if I ask you a question, you ever hear of a fellow by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, friend. What do you mean, leave it? Look. I don't know what business you're in, but leave it, friend. You and your pal that was in here before. Bronte? Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big, Mr. Italian, spaghetti eating, long streak of piss big. Yeah, he makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally a cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you can talk to them kids in the alley. They'll know I guess. Oh, hey, Fred. Hey, you, you be careful now. Immigrants, they're not to be trusted. Come on now. This sulking doesn't become you. You always have to- Pardon me, but have you seen any kids around this way? Yeah, I think I heard a few in the other courtyard up ahead. You can get through on the left there. Hey! Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live, New York? I'm an entrepreneur. You don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Oh, bad bread. Here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry, no one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope you won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baron and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mama said they used to burn Protestants and all, but, uh... Bet they don't have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little pair of shits. Let's go. That fellow was angry. You better stop right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
bastard got off. Damn, free trash. You up with that kid? How the shit went that way? Thanks for the help, friend. You know, I kind of miss old Bob. Holy hell! I don't know. Ain't you tired yet, old man? Hey! talking about friend I ain't your friend but that kid is and he robbed from me now give me back my stuff and take me to Angelo Bronte Senor Bronte that kid was gonna show me before he robbed me <gasps> ah. come on you new in town mister come on mr. Bronte's got a lot of friends mister but I ain't never seen you we ain't friends you don't like no one, mister. Mr. Bronte, he's got fine hair. He got a beautiful house, and I am proud to work for him. He got 50 men, mister. Why are you gonna care a thing about you? I just wanna speak with him. <laughs> I'm sure you do, mister. You and them friends of yours been asking about him all over town. He been mighty disrespected. Bunch of muddy Yankees in town asking questions. Well, you and your friend should pay him a visit, mister. He's got a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Hey, yokel. Now, get out of here. been my finest week. Hello. How are you, boy? Good
Where you been? Getting robbed? Who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street, opposite the park. Huh. Good work. So what now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John, you meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. I cannot decide which I like less, the swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way east of land we know, and far from real open country. Out of the damn way! Sir, will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. I'm a humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do, and God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry to me. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. That's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> Well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but yeah, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm... Well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner the one with the green door? Well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Maybe I'm wrong. I hope I am. But we can't ignore the rumors. I'd go myself, but he knows who I am. Hi there, mister. <laughs> Free to wrap. Shall do. Got a few paintings over there. Something for the wife, maybe? Looking for anything in particular? You timed it well. Some quality pieces in at the moment. Well, you just let me know if I can help at all. Just a few old books. Something don't seem right. Sir, uh, what are you doing back there? Who's back here? 
Looks like this pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just a no. How about you open that door? Door? What door? The hidden door. Or I'll open the hidden door in your chest. They made me do it. I, I was always good to them, but they, they forced me to do it, sir. I, I swear. Open the door, now! Oh, okay, okay. Just pull the big red book on the bookshelf. It's called The Scourge of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. This is my brother's door. I I'm just watching it while he's away. Hello? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Please, I'm on your side. It's gonna be okay. Por, por favor. Don't worry. I'm on your side. Gracias, señor. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. This way. Not much farther. Poor bastards. Brother... Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Hey, look out, mister. Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Sure, what you want? Brandy! Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. Mm. Ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Mm. I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very friend. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole? Mm. That too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No, I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris, no. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? 
Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better, much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm, no matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Yep. Come on. What? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? What? Moonshine. No, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's not for drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. <laughs> but for shine, well... I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, thereabouts. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty cheap. Please, friend. I'll pay. Just, just, just bring it here. It's for a good cause. Well, if anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine, he'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. There's places they keep folks who act like you. Come on, things to do. Glad you dropped in. I've got that, uh, information you asked for. Um, I need something more specific this time. A wagon full of moonshine. Well, you might just be in luck. I knew I picked the right feather to speak to. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What Bro. you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault to Darky White. Oh, well, I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come All on. Right. And I'll right. tell you, you lily livid. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's OK, even for a darky. Shut it, you pasty-faced streak of piss. Yeah, I had it up to here with you. Enough. Do your goddamn favor what you want. Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> OK. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat? Don't push your luck. Nice fella. <laughs> yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Trying to get a rise from me? Jethro Minglethorpe, gossip, gossip, gossip. But as usual, you're spreading lies. Lies? Every fool knows the charges were trumped up. But the darkie killed a white man. Jimmy Holdacre had a weak heart. He died of a heart attack. Nonsense. And Samson Black was set up. Everyone knows Judge Amory took a bribe. You don't believe that, do you? Sure. And you call me a gossip? Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Would you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Please, mister, I'll just reach by. It won't take but a second. I'm leaning on it. Find one that ain't in use. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. How's this for moving? Get out of here, now. No respect for your elders. You gonna do it then? You are your damn pathetic bastard son. Yeah, cause y'all, y'all boys prove yourself to be young. Yeah, you boys, not fighters. Well, hello there. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Mister, I need that poster. There's been a recall. I weren't born yesterday. This one's mine, so you can go and get your own. Captain?
Come back and see me later. Hey, friend. Hello. I was in town. Pretty hot. There's quite a price on you boys. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, then. That's that. Free at last. Free from you, at least. Well, not quite. No? We should wait a while first, see if anyone's on our trail. You're right. Too risky to split up now. Two sets of eyes is better than one. This ain't permanent, though. It's a temporary measure. Well, right, right, till things blow over. Then I'm done with you, Black. I'm counting the hours, White. I just get some food in my belly. I'm set, mister.
You helped us enough, okay? You've done enough for us. We're on our own now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.